one of these models came to my studio uh, to accompany a, a friend, I think, I don't remember uh, very clearly, and we shot a few pictures and we're all good, we're all very good for me, they were all very, very meaningful. And then I say like, I, I can do much more than this. It's, this, is, this is a very new way to see a topic that everyone believed to know something about, which is like gender problems, uh, Thailand, uh, lady boys, transgenders, that we always have um, a perception, especially in the West, that is something really dramatic, uh, really about criminality, prostitution, human trafficking. So we all have in our mind like this kind of scenario when we speak about Thailand, but that's not what Thailand is all about. And it's definitely not what Thailand is going to be in the next few years. So I, when I found, just by coincidence, this model, which is uh, Gas, uh, which eventually became a, one of the producers uh, that has helped me to uh, gather uh, these models together, I saw it and I said, like, this one, it's, it's very special. First of all, I have an incredible imaginary world to show to everyone. So they usually show it by social media but sometimes they are dancers or actors or, or um, uh, music composers or, or music producers. So every one of them have an incredible, um, you know, deep knowledge of what they want, or what they want to be. They have certain kind of hopes and have nothing to do with criminality or prostitution at all. So what I wanted to show is that you can be a transgender, you can be a, a, a lady boy in this case of Thailand, but it's completely a new set of rules, are very different kind of people and are very new, are all very young, are 20, 25 years old maximum, I think uh, the oldest that, 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 I, that, I, that I did here. And there are many things that I don't even understand, and that's, that's, that's the thing that I like probably the most. And are not necessarily even my, my own um, way of representing this or that. I just wanted to see what they want. So I think it's very interesting for the viewers to see what I did and what they usually do about themselves. So if you picture like all of my work is all about castings and wannabes and people who want to enter a new reality, people who want to enter, um, could be the, the, the media industry or the music industry or the fashion industry. And, and they have some tools that nature, you know, give it to them. And some people have lots of money. Some other people have no money. Some people are very creative and have no money or vice versa. And that it's something that, that really interests me. And because all the possibilities that this creates, it's, it's really fascinating. So usually someone that wanna enter the fashion industry, for example, it goes with some comp cards, and, which is also part of my previous work, uh, this discussion, and and show how the photographer, some photographers, saw them, and so he have to participate in this game of trying uh, to be famous, okay, just with pictures that someone else did it. But in this moment, from now on, I think the models and the people who wanna show this kind of reality will show gradually more things that they did by themselves. These are the new models. Are gender fluids? Absolutely. They are not scared of anything about be judge or judging things even, that, which is really, really good in my opinion. And they're not just a face. They have lots of uh, creativity to show and ways to change their appearances, that change every day. So I think this is really important to understand that these kind of professions in the future and the media industry, influencers that maybe 10 years from now they will be calling another way, 
and blah, 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 they will be more self-aware of who they are and they need to be artists. They cannot be just a face. And I, I like to start this conversation with this future book, which would be called Lady B.